Hi everybody, Greg Wilkins, back here with you with another edition of The Daily Pause, a devotional of positivity and encouragement for Wednesday, November 29th, 2023. I pray that you not only have a very blessed day today, but that today's devotional will also serve as an encouragement, a motivation, and an inspiration for you, and put a smile on your face as well. If you enjoy the Daily Pause devotional, make sure you catch up on all the past episodes of the Daily Pause by checking out my Facebook page, The Daily Pause, my YouTube channel, Greg Wilkins, or follow me on Twitter at Greg Wilkins 78 Once again, I hope you have a very blessed day and I hope that you understand that God loves you, God cares for you, and God will always be there for you. We are in the middle of what I call Fanfare and Overture Week and my Christmas with Friends, second annual Christmas with with Christmas with Friends, easier to said, said than done, I guess, here at the Daily Pause. And today's devotional is entitled, The Proclamation. Now, I have one niece and three great nephews. Two of them are older and two of them are younger. My two youngest nephews are 11 and 8, and they're Mason and Carter, respectively. A few weeks ago, they were surprised by a day trip to Dollywood with their parents. And they drove all the way up to Dollywood and they had a great time. They had won all kinds of games, played all kinds of games, had a great time. And just and now they didn't know. But their mom told me the next day about all the good time they had. And my brother told me even more about their great time. I hadn't seen them yet all Sunday. And I come back home from church on Sunday and we're eating like lunch or it was dinner. It was dinner. And they were still beaming. Their smiles were still on their face. So I just simply asked them, so how was the trip to Dollywood? And they were just like bursting to just say all the things they did, all the games they won. They even won, and ended up winning a, what well, they traded for, but they won it. A gigantic Pikachu, which is like three and a half feet, four feet tall. It's a big plush doll. They said it was so big, we used it as a pillow on the way back home. They were just still excited and bursting at the seams about all the fun they had. They were just willing to share it with anybody and everybody. Willing to proclaim, so to speak, that the news that they wanted to share with everybody. And that's what I want to, that's what I want you to take in today's devotional. Good news. And it's very hard to hide good news. There's always a, a, a twitch or a, a tick or some kind of physical tell that we have, whether it be a smile or just some just movement or something just something about us that's just, when we have good news and we want to share it and we can't hold it we can't hold it we're supposed to hold it but we can't hold it we have to hold it but we can't hold it we need to hold it until everything comes through but we can't hold it and it's just that exciting good news that you have that you just want to share with everybody although you know that everybody may not share in your excitement somebody will and you just want to share that excitement with any and everybody that's the kind of feeling that Mason and Carter had after that Dollywood trip. And I liken that to the heavenly hosts up in heaven when the angel approached the shepherds in the field and told them that born unto you in this day in the city of David is your savior, savior, which is Christ the Lord. And they were just so excited because they knew, they knew the shape that the world was in. They knew what was going to happen if Jesus did not come down to this world. They knew the type of man that was coming down. They knew what he was bringing with them. And they were so excited. It's like you see something about to happen and you know something good's about to happen. And you just can't hold it. You hold it. You can't hold it. Just there. You're excited. That proclamation came forth and they couldn't hold it any longer. And they just erupted with praise and just a celebration, singing Gloria Gloria Patris, it's not Gloria Patris, it's Gloria in excelsis Deo, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men, because they knew that was available now, because Jesus was going to bring that light and that hope and that joy into this world. So there are a couple of things I want to share with you in this devotional. One, if you got great news, be willing to share it, and even if somebody else doesn't agree with it, doesn't share with it, with you at the same level. Don't let that discourage you from the great news you received. Let that still be a forward moving part of your day and continue to share that great news with somebody else. And most importantly, in this season and every day that we have on this earth, let's be willing to share the good news that Jesus Christ came down to this earth to give us that light, give us that hope, give us that joy 
that was not found here in any other way, shape, or form before. Now we have that availability. We have that we have that opportunity of peace. We have the opportunity of unconditional love, of true love. We have that that opportunity of completion. We had that opportunity of so much more than we could have had before or would have had before now that Jesus has entered onto the scene. And just like a fanfare, a fanfare is a proclamation, usually by brass, that of something about to come forth. It's just excitement, it's regal, it's pretty loud at points. It's just got this this excitement about it. That's why I decided to do this fanfare in Overtures Week. And today's piece is a beautiful and exciting piece performed by Jeffrey L. Ames. And it's called Gloria Fanfare. Now the Gloria is a part of the is the part of the ordinary of the Mass and the liturgical mass. And it's based on the Latin text, Gloria in the Chelsea's Deo, meaning glory to God in the highest. And it's just and it's an excitement, it's an exciting fanfare that comes right before the song Gloria. I wish I put them back to back, but I didn't. I just played the fanfare. And now this one is arranged for orchestra and choir. And the choir singing this one is the St. Olaf Chapel Choir. And, um, under the direction of, oh, I hope I get this right, uh, Tespa. I'm just going to say Tespa because I cannot say that last name to save my life. So charges in my head, not my heart. And they're up in Minnesota. It's a, it's a very beautiful piece. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you share the excitement of what this song brings and the message that brings. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace goodwill towards men. And in this holiday season, I hope that we understand that the real reason is not just giving gifts, not just sharing gifts, not just spending time with others. Those are good, but it's also to share the excitement of the great news, the proclamation that Jesus Christ has come to this earth to give us life, new life, new joy, and new hope through him. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for coming to this earth. They're coming down to this cold, cold world and giving us a light, giving us a warmth, giving us a hope and a joy in which we can share in you and, and have in you. Help us to share that great news with anybody who's willing to listen and help us not be discouraged when they don't respond the way that we thought they would. Help us to keep that joy on the inside. After all, that joy that you gave to us, the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away. So, Lord, help us to keep that joy inside of us burning, not just during this Christmas season but every day of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Before we go, we got some birthday and anniversary shout outs for you today. First, I wanna wish a belated anniversary shout out to John and Helen Gist. They had an anniversary a couple of days ago. And I also wanna wish a very special 15th, and John and Helen celebrated 18 years. And I wanna wish a belated 15 years to one of my dearest and best friends in my entire life. Jason Ravan and his wife, Christy, they are celebrating 15 years of love and happiness. I think it was six or seven days ago. So John and Helen Gist, Jason and Christy Ravan, happy anniversary to you both. And may God continue to encourage you and bless you both in your union together and many more years of love and wedded bliss together. And on today, I want to wish a very special happy birthday to one of the executive producers of this podcast. I'm speaking into existence, I guess, into this devotional. Um, and also one of my band moms, Kathy McMillan. Kathy McMillan is just someone I've known literally all my life. She just, just loves music, loves loves God, and just, just gives, gives a good encourager. And I want to wish her a very special happy birthday. And may God bless you with many more birthdays. And enjoy your birthday on today. Stay warm. It is rather chilly down here in South Carolina today and probably other parts of the country as well. So everybody stay warm out there. Now, to send in your birthday or anniversary shout outs, you can do that by leaving them in the comment section down below or reach out to me on Facebook Messenger by email at dailypause3 at gmail.com. You can text them to me at 864-860-1522 or you can just tweet me at gregwilkins78. That's at G-R-E-G-G-W-I-L-K-I-N-S and the number 78. You can also send in your videos or your or some note form with something written in note form about what your favorite song is in christmas and why does why does that mean so much to you 
I do this through the Christmas with friends. I did it last year. It was pretty successful. I would love to do it again this year. So send them in. Send them to those same places. And I'll look forward to getting those in to these devotionals as we go throughout the rest of this Christmas season. I really do thank you for watching the Daily Pause Devotional. And before you go, I want to give you another shout out to the Sight Beyond Sight Entertainment Podcast. I'm a part of that as well, along with Pastor Happy Feet and Ty Boogie. And we give information and inspiration. And we all do, also do some laughs. Sometimes we're crazier than we should be. But you get a lot of inspiration, a lot of information there, as well as some good laughter there. So check them out. We drop every Tuesdays and Thursdays with a motivational nugget on Tuesday and a main episode on Thursday. And that's available on everywhere you listen to podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, um, Google, um, what else? Uh, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music. Just go anywhere or your favorite podcast providers and find there and look up the site Beyond Site Entertainment Podcast. Now, I hope you have a very blessed day. Thank you for watching. And remember, every day there's always time to take a pause. Lord willing, I will see you again on tomorrow. Enjoy today's feature song. Gloria Fanfare, composed by Jeffrey L. Ames and performed by the St. Olaf Chapel Choir and Orchestra of the 2022 album, The Divine One, Christmas, Festi Christmas Celebration Live. It's uh, produced by Naxos once again, and <laughs> I hope you guys will really enjoy it. It's really, 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 really neat, neat, neat song. And I hope that you continue to love each other and continue to be safe. And once again, remember, every day is always time to take a pause. May God continue to cover you, keep you, and increase you in all that you do, say, and think on today. Thank you once again for watching and enjoy today's feature song, Gloria Fanfare by the St. Olaf Chapel Choir and Orchestra. Take care, God bless, and enjoy. Thank you.